Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a doodle crate and I am so excited. I just, the time of month when all the KiwiCo boxes show up in the crates, it's just, it's very exciting for all of us. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do different unboxings like we're doing today to show you some curriculum and organizational ideas and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this doodle crate. So this one is a mosaic organizer. It says, learn the art of mosaics to create your own wooden desk organizer. So that sounds very exciting. And it looks very cool from the initial picture right here on the front. So that's a little picture on the instructions book. It just, it kind of reminds me of something my grandma probably had, coffee table, I don't even remember, but it looks familiar to me, just the, this type of mosaic. I'm sure other people have seen that as well, but. So these are instructions right here, and sometimes it gives history about mosaics as well. They usually do, but they also have some different designs. They give a lot of different ideas, so these are really good instructions. So then in here, we have our mosaics. So our mosaic pieces, I guess. I don't know what you, what do you call them? I don't know. But there's the triangles on this side and then this looks maybe diamonds, if that will focus for us. So it, it tells us what they are. And we have the cutest little play I have ever seen. Look at how teeny that is. <laughs> it's, just, it's very cute. And then this is a piece of foam, probably I guess for the bottom maybe, I'm not really sure, but there's that. And then this is a guide. I wonder if this is kind of to practice or probably to do the actual project as well. And then we have some glue, just some white glue and a paint brush right here. And some wooden pieces to put together our pencil holder. So my daughter's gonna love this. Pretty soon she's gonna have so many crafts on her desk, you know, holding like all the things <laughs> that I, I don't know. We're gonna have to get her another desk. Just kidding, we're just gonna have to declutter and try to get rid of some stuff. But I know she's gonna be excited to do this, so I'm gonna let her get at it and we will let you know how it goes. So Alana finished her doodle crate and I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a cool idea. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay, you wanna hold it up so they can see it. So it was a mosaic organizer. So here is the mosaic part. She did it on both sides and then the organizer part. <laughs> and so she has a few different wooden pieces right here. If she wants to change up how this is divided, she could add in another piece right here and you know, use that for pencils or pens, like have them divided or something like that. So there's a few different options of how to organize it and you don't have to just do it one way. <laughs> and then there's a few different triangles left over. So these are all the little wooden pieces that she used on the mosaic. So there's some of these left over. Maybe you could use them for another craft, another mosaic just on your own piece of paper or something. That would be really cool. And then a few other things that I thought were cool. And then we'll let Alana tell us what she liked was the fact that they give you this so you can lay out your design prior and it, it makes it a lot easier when you go to put it on here. And then they also have an outline of it on here so that you can just glue in between the spaces. So I thought it made it really easy and fun for her to do. And then this is also a really cool idea that they have that they provide on their website. There's these little dividers. So you can see their different colors right here. So it says up here, that you would go to their website for mosaics and then you scroll down and it's just a PDF. And when you print them out, I printed a few out. I don't have colorful cardstock because it says to print them on cardstock. I only have white or black. <laughs> so this is what one of the dividers looks like. Here's another option. So you would cut out this little hole right here to put some different things in. 
There's one, this one's supposed to be like a secret compartment so you could bend it down and hide stuff. So it has all the, all the pictures right here of the different options. And then you just take this and you slide them in. And then you can put different things on them that you want to store in there. <laughs> so they just kind of slide in like that. And I also cut this one out so you could do little pencils on the sides and things like that. So I thought that was just a fun little addition if you want to have some more organizing things, you could use those. So that was cool. So what was your favorite part about this project? How I got to design it. How she got to design it, huh? So you, do, you can do different designs on either side. It says to do the same one, but it's up to you. You can use your own artistic abilities to decide what you want to do. What do you think was the hardest part? Um, like trying to make sure you didn't like get them all mixed up. Uh, oh yeah. Design. <laughs> so, you know, transferring them probably from this page <laughs> to here, right? And you didn't get them all mixed up. So that was, that was the hardest part. And it was very simple to put together as this foam piece. And then you put some glue and you just slide it all together and it was very easy. So we had a lot of fun and we're excited to see what next, next month brings. So if you like these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye.